All right, we're live again. We're recording. We're good to go. Uh, oh, auto save. Let's Arrigo's. check if people can hear you this time. Oh yeah, this time yes. I I see I see because the only reason I noticed there was an audio is that I looked down at the uh oh, what is it uh, the uh, fucking the streaming software uh, and I noticed yesterday that my mic wasn't fluctuating at all. It was just empty. Um, but this time it's actually fluctuating as I'm talking. So I assume there's audio this time. And it's the same for you when you talk, so I, I assume we're good there, too. Sweet. Alright, I'll boot up the game real quick. Uh, okay, so we had uh, beat Gilda, and then... Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Rook! Fuck, who's back? Oh, hey, Nell. I missed you, where you been? It feels like you've been avoiding me lately. I got locked out of the school, but we managed to get back through Seth's passage. So are we just hanging with strangers in my room now? Yo? Yeah, his room is the place to be. <laughs> it's bumping, dude. You should have seen it. It's where we can hook up Gilda with Merritt. Seth has a sister now? When did she not? <laughs> well, okay, you know, if she's the younger sister, there was at least a brief period of time where that was not true. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, no, nobody's pranking you. Maybe things are a bit weird right now. Uh, I'm kind of working on my summer research project. All this weird new magic is proving a couple theories I have. Can't Saf help you out? Dude, looking for her. Oh, they haven't talked lately. What the fuck? Yeah. She's missing and in trouble. It's not a good time. She's always in trouble. <laughs> Reputation. Worse than Taylor Swift. <laughs> Oh no, the headmistress took her. The coven is after her? Ibn Oxley with a guardian name, uh, called Bax. You know, Maiden Rook is giving us a pretty good recap. Yeah, right. I was about to say, this is a pretty good like summary of what happened last time. We picked a good spot to stop. Is he, is he signing? Oof, roasted. We got a fanboy. Yo, catch me up on the details inside. So, uh, do we tell him his idol is a hoax? Yes, absolutely. You <laughs> always do that to people. Let them know the thing they like is bad. Break That's how you... heart. Break yeah. heart. <laughs> Interesting. I find it did you just respond to a tweet about that? Oh yeah, I, I did. Uh, someone was asking, is you know, is it a better vibe to like to like something that everyone hates or to hate things people like? And I feel it's more difficult to hate thing like it. You're generally in a more difficult position when you hate things people like, because then, because like you don't want to hate things. No one enjoys hating things or disliking things, right? So, like, you know, for example, I don't enjoy Dragon Quest XI as much as everyone else. It was perfectly a normal game. I played it. I liked it. I'm going to move on with my life. But everyone else is like, nope, this is the game of the generation. One of the best. No questions asked. And I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've played a thousand games like this. And this one didn't... I, I don't get it. <laughs> but, like, it was cool, you know? So, like... So it's it's a lot of awkward conversations to have when I think it got a lot of mileage out of its big plot twist between Act One and Two, and that's where I'll leave it. I'm trying to remember what that is. It, it, you know, it, the moment can, everything changes. Okay, can you? 
it's it's the one I think it is, but can you type it in Discord DM and just to make sure I know what it is? Because I, I do I think I know, but I, I wanna make sure. Cause I, I haven't played it since it was new on Switch. Like I, I literally beat that game in like a week and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm never gonna play this again. So that one. Oh, yeah, I think that's one of the stupidest moments in the entire game. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> no evidence of that. De something's definitely up. You say there's magic force protecting her room? Yes, we established it's the power of love. <laughs> it's the power of love. Uh, this one won't budge an inch. Well, how about a foot? Library. We don't have time for reading, nerd. Oh, her borrowing records. You know what? That's actually like a really like smart idea. Like <laughs> that, yeah, that's a like smart a smart one. Yeah, that's like legitimately a great idea though to see like hey, maybe she was doing some research or something, you know. South yeah, of the main even though, Oh, uh, I mean, where the they uh, were spending time together. So I have to go to where the uh, groundskeeper was. Sorry, I was hanging up on a scam call, but yes, that is what oh. I Okay, cool. You've got a trio. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at all these babies. All right, let's, uh, let's get you equipped with something. Yo, that's pretty good. Yo, that's really good. Slightly not as good. Mm. You know what? I think I'll take that. I'll will take that lower defense because it buffs the power as well. Well, well, wait. What's the power compared to? Oh, you're already dealing like fucking huge ass damage. Okay. I'll just make you faster. You're good. Oh yeah, he was a powerhouse kind of character. Good. Good. But, well, well, you know, you know the trade-off there. Glass cannons and all. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, uh, Burke is gonna give us plenty of talking points when you start using them in combat. I'll be excited to see what that is. Okay, wait. There's gotta be... Sneak rit. A sneak rit. Where is it? I know you're around here somewhere. Get the Benny Hill theme playing while this is on fast forward. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a secret. Wait, is there really not a secret I, in that room? I don't remember one. Great. If you find it, I'll be impressed, because that would mean there was one. Uh. Oh, come back. Wait, hang on. Face door? Hello? Oh, no. Oh no? Oh no. Gwenora? A nasty spirit who lives inside the school. She takes the form I of a face. I would have there is a door. Yeah, that, right, that would have been funny. Adorable. Or you know what, just Dora. Like, yeah, that too. It's, it, that's an actual name. <laughs> well, so is Isadore. Is, Isadore is a name? Isn't it? I thought it was Isabel. That's Animal Crossing. I mean, it, no, Isabel is a name. That's a real name. Yeah, which is where Animal Crossing got it 
from. Well, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know Isadore is a name. I mean, maybe it is. I'm just like, I, I don't know every name. So let's say we got universe. Isadore Sainer, a mathematician. Isadore Sharp, a writer from Canada. Isadore Freelane, an American animator. Shall I go on? No, it's fine. Loud, smelly students. Winora, we need to get into the study hall. Hmm, I don't think you do. The bookworm needs in the library, does he? Anytime I hear the word bookworm, I just think of that, uh, that game by the Zelda CDI devs called I Am Mean, where the main I character- I just think of Mario Party 4. Is that a thing in Mario Party 4? I had never played- I haven't played that in years. Uh, that, that one has the book squirm minigame. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, is that the- is that the one where it, like, squishes you with paper? Yep, and you gotta get in the hole. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't Glenora's just... character portrait great? It's just half of her face because she's so big. <laughs> and it's a full-on rectangle because she's a door. Yeah. Oh, Don't be mean to them. You are a piece of work, aren't you? Mm. The foulest of them all. Stabbed you in the eye? Jesus. I'm assuming it was the sister. Safina gets what she wants. Yeah. You do seem quite forgettable, what the fuck? I'll stab your other fucking eye, I swear to god. I got a pocket knife, damn it. Apply the makeover. I'll say with a door like that, they don't need the internet. Mm. They get all the negativity and all the information hidden behind it. Like the same thing. So, Professor Leora. There we go. The alchemy professor. Probably the smartest in the whole school. Alchemy labs are north of here, across the schoolyard. Great. But what's south of here? Sell me stuff. Yeah, so you had asked about age the last time, and then Merritt mentioned that Safina got enrolled in the school at the age of 13, so it's been... A few years since then, so they're a little older than that. But they still call the teachers professors here. Gotcha. Defense down by one, but speed up by two. That's not bad. Speed up by two, defense by one. Okay. I think I could go for... Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong thing. There we go. Yeah. Equip that. And equip that. There we go. Decked out the party. And you've got 13, 31 coins to your name. It's weird how when it... As soon as I said 13, you made it reverse. <laughs> Ooh. Is this... Ooh, this is like for enemies, I assume. I'm gonna use that on like the next boss and just wipe the floor with him. Let's go. There's a secret. I can smell it. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, nope. That's... Now we established that's the coffee shop. Yeah, that's Animal Crossing. 
Hmm. Thorns are a problem. We'll have to take the exit out the back of the dorm. A uh, regular thorn in your side. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna save. It's a lot of talking we did. Goodbye. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Oh. Uh, yep. Yo, new battle theme? Hello? Yep. <laughs> so, I, I guess getting Rook was the trigger for that changing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Goes down, uh, down the land. Okay, so inflict damage on by casting a curse, pierce the target's soul, and gain their good fortunes. So that's an important spell, and there's a lot to that. The uh, soul piercing, I mean, because that is this is your one character who can steal items from enemies. Oh, so soul pierce is uh, stealing. Yeah, it does the... Does it do damage? I forget. <laughs> I think it's actually just focused on the stealing aspect. I mean, we could probably figure that out now. Does damage. Yo! Twice in a row? Got a coin out of it. Let's go. Yeah, so the first command was for damage and the second was for stealing the item. Yep. Oh, hey, Amber. Uh, yes, this is not Final Fantasy 1. No, no, what are you talking about? I'm Amber, and it is Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Actually, it is. You're a liar. <laughs> Hello, me in the chat. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... Yeah, that another piece of advice that I got from the server that they wanted me to pass on, but I didn't mention it because we didn't have Rook yet. That item stealing thing, if you are bringing Rook into a boss, you don't need to bring him into every boss, but if you do, you should try using that on them. Oh, the to steal as much as you can? Well, not, nah, not so much as much as you can. I believe everything just has one item to steal, but bosses will have equipment. Oh, okay. That's some that's some FF9 shit. I'm cool with that. And it's not oh. strictly necessary. You can, you know, if the time comes and you want to leave them out, don't worry about that. But if you have them, you might as well. Right. Makes sense. Now, Rook also has traps of his own. By drawing an invisible sigil, okay. And then... So you can place a trap, but like the enemies, you'll have to stay clear of it. It's, uh... If you end up using that one, the command determines the visibility of your trap. Oh, okay, gotcha. So if you fail the command, he'll still lay the trap, but it's gonna be invisible and you'll have to remember where it is. But if you nail the command, you'll get a little marking on the ground to remind you where you put it. Oof. Sweet. You know, I was prepared to explain the timing for Soul Pierce, but just got it repeatedly. <laughs> uh, those enemies remind me of the fighter flies from Mario Bros. Oh, you mean like the arcade game enemies? Yeah, I could see Did that. Did they also drop eggs? 
Uh, no, but like if you look them up, like visually they are kind of similar. They just don't have the long legs. Huh, I guess I never came in here. Oh! Well, okay. I guess, uh, I guess that was that. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, I didn't <laughs> want it anymore. That's the same chest. Yo, so many common coins. Message scratched on the inside of the chest. Caught me. Yo, overalls free. Let's go. I should didn't have to buy them. I wonder right? if those will be an overall improvement. Uh, well, not really, since I already bought them. Well, now you can sell them. Exactly. Oh, it was Amber says the way they moved. One other thing to note about traps, even though you haven't used them yet, is that you can have three on the field at a time. Okay. Uh, if I try to make a fourth one, will it delete the first one, or will it just say you can't do that? I believe it's the latter. Gotcha. I shall keep that in mind. Into the very depths of your soul. Now that's some real persona. I persona reach in and I take the money out of it. <laughs> I I see what you have in your soul, and it's very very affordable. <laughs> All right, let's get you two out of here. Oops. Oh, no stealing fine. for you. Not today. Yo, let's go. That book is comedically large. Rook pulls out like a book for his victory animation and it's like hilariously big. Big brains need big foot. Uh, this is probably a good time to put one of these. There we go. Uh, can I activate my own? Yep, uh, we talked about that the last time of how the enemies can activate their own, so all the same rules apply. So if you step on that yellow space at all, you will hurt. That makes sense. Oh, it's strategic placement. Maybe, just maybe, you can get them to fall for it. Yeah. <laughs> I sleep. It heals you. I don't know how that works, but it does. Uh, one guy feels so much better that the other guy's getting a good night's sleep that they <laughs> can rest easy. I'm gonna see if that does anything. There we go. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get that buff. And then I'm going to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Uh, oh, I hang on. You know what? Just here. They're not going to take a turn. Oh yeah, I have all all three. Yeah. Now Merit's blaze spell, which destroys enemy crafts, can also destroy yours. Yeah. If you want one gone faster, that's an option. Also, you know, maybe you just decide it's worth the trade-off of losing the trap to hit a certain enemy. Or a group of them. Mm -hmm. There we go. Frogies. <laughs> I love when they wake up, they're like, huh! Oh no, he, he he's hungry. angry. He's hankering for a for a, a I, I had I had a word rhyming with it, but I couldn't figure it out. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna slap them silly, so they're hankering for a spankering. There you go. A trap was triggered. You fool. Wow, you just died immediately. Why would you do that? <laughs> it, it, it's wild how varied the enemy intelligence can be when it comes to those traps, because that last match you had three down. Not a single one got triggered. But then this time, ooh, shiny splat on the floor. Must touch. Oh, well, goodbye, frog. <laughs> hey, I just thought of something. What was that? That enemy triggering the trap? That was a rookie mistake. Ah, there we go. Okay, I got it. All right. Uh -huh. Clever, clever, clever. I like it. My jokes have layers. <laughs> I, I had no idea what I was doing there. <laughs> I was like, oops, painting? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somehow that was your first time using his single target attack. Um. Okay, there we go. What's in here? Empty! Great. You know, now that I think about it, I'm on so the second floor. You're looking for the back exit, right? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm on the second floor. That's not... It's probably not where the exit is. Uh, what is this game? I have not heard much about it beyond its name. So, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a turn-based RPG, but it has, like, tactical elements, right? So, as you can see here, you have, like, a grid for movement and everything, right? Each character has like different kinds of spells with different areas of effect and whatnot. Uh, and then, you know, there's like a, 
Every character is like cute and wholesome in their own way with story and stuff like that. Has like elements of Paper Mario, Earthbound, Undertale, like eh, eh, any sort of RPG. It's like th this is like right in that camp, you know? So. Oh, I can cherry pick it a bit more. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you want to, go for it. Alright, story wise, Merit is the girl in the red hair. And she's searching for her sister who hasn't come home from witching school, which is where the name of the game comes from. Ickenfell is where they attend. And so you're trying to solve the mystery behind what happened to her and why other people are looking for her. But along the way, you get into turn-based combat that takes place on this three-row grid system. The grid system is there for a few reasons. Each spell has its own attack range so where you place your character determines what you can do but then there's also the trap system where you can infect certain spaces with magic to try and uh, damage the enemy they can do the same to you so that plays a dual role in that regard and apart from that you're also trying to time button inputs on each spell to maximize your damage to the enemy and minimize their damage to you Mm -hmm. I think that about covers it. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very, very like, ho like wholesome game too, but it, you know, it it has uh, has some like slightly darker elements, which I appreciate. You know, it's, n but for the most part, it's just like a really fun RPG. Yeah, the icing on the cake of all of that gameplay I mentioned is that you've got diversity in your characters and the soundtrack by Ivy and Sarashu. As I keep reminding people that the visual style may remind you of Celeste because this game's developer Chevy and Celeste game developer Maddie were rooming together and working on game jam projects together at one point in time. Mm -hmm. All right, does Amber know that the black headed character throwing all the bubbles and stuff oh yeah that's the uh non-binary character their their wow. name is petronella <laughs> one of them <laughs> oh there's well yeah there's more of them but i'm saying that's the one we know right now and yes azran is the one who recommended this to me so uh, because i'm I, a genius <laughs> I, I i dm'd azran and i was like hey pick a game i want to play it with you on stream and he it could be anything. It doesn't have to be multiplayer. It could be single player too. And he's, you know, we were throwing out ideas and whatnot. And eventually he's like, how about this like really wholesome RPG with elements of like Paper Mario and a bunch of other stuff. And I'm like, yo, this is perfect as shit. What the fuck? <laughs> and Rob's playing the Xbox version because it's available on Game Pass. Oh yeah. It makes life a lot easier to uh, get a game when it's on Game Pass. <laughs> But you can also find it Steam, Switch, PS4 onward. Y'all got me so honest, damn it. I don't need another game in my backlog. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. This one comes in at around a 20 hour time investment if you're just trying to beat it. More like is, 25 if you're doing everything like I did. Which is kind of nice because like a lot of RPGs, you know, the big complaint is for a lot of people is like, oh, I don't have that kind of time investment. And it's like, y y like that's fair, right? Because like, you know, Persona 5 Royal is like, what, 120 hours just for the story alone? Um, I spent 200 on Xenoblade X. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some people spend, you know, I've spent 7,000 hours over the years on Persona 4. Like I can, I can spend fucking forever on rpgs right but uh what, what what i'm saying is like you know it is nice to have an rpg in a modern era 
that plays really well and is, you know, not an overabundant... Like, it doesn't overstay its welcome, I assume, you know, so... Oh, trap triggered. Uh... Oh, wait. Boom, boom, bam. Move one. Wait, which? Okay, yeah, it's this one. Okay. Didn't FF13 have two sequels on top of that? I'm making my way through FF13 and it's discouraging feeling like uh, I've played so much, but I'm only like a quarter of the way through. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and, well, that's the thing. I'm going to be real with you. 13.2 and Lightning Returns are not mandatory. Like, 13 does not set itself up for a sequel at all, but they make it work anyway. And if you play 13.2, you'll know what I mean, but... 13 is a complete story from beginning to end. So, they're, you know. Oh, and yeah, the music's super chill in this game. Hell yeah. In part one, we even encountered a small amount of singing. Oh yeah, that's true. They, they do have a couple vocal tracks, which is nice. Uh, a total of like 120 hours. Uh, I'm only 13 hours into the first one. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Luckily, 13, I feel, you know, people give it a lot of grief, but I, I do I do think 13 is a good game, and, and I wish people were a little nicer for it. I don't, I don't think I've been in here. Hello? I'm gonna ace I remember you being in here and being like, bookcase, move. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe that was that. Trap placed. Well, we don't like that. You can take your trap and shut it. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, you shitty fly. Spit hot fire. Come you know, on. that 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 particular enemy, the one that was shooting the fire, it, it just reminds me of the coffee bean from season one of Regular Show. The coffee bean? I never watched regular it, show, so. Uh, there's an episode where they want concert tickets and there's a giant sentient coffee bean. Thing. Oh, wait. I think I did see this one. Okay. that it It's one of the earlier episodes, that helps right? them do their work to get the money for it. Yeah, it's one of the earlier episodes, right? Very <laughs> and here comes this guy doing his fucking best. Uh, you know what? It'd probably be a good idea to heal her. And then, whoop. Yeah, there we go. It must be 420 because it's time to blaze it. Yeah, there you go. The pun master. My buddy spoiled the setup of each game in the 13 trilogy back when uh, I was convinced I'd never play Final Fantasy. Oh, that's a bummer. Ah, damn it. If I could just move one space to the right. I'll take this, I guess. Round and round and round it goes. The, the fact it gets faster really fucks with me. I finally get you a know, great. <laughs> you know, you could probably practice with the dial task in Among Us. <laughs> That's you true. Got the three spinning things in electrical and they each get faster. <laughs>
Oh my god. He deals so much damage. Yeah, but if you're looking for raw damage, that spell, that single target spell of his is gonna do it for you. What do you have to sell? What in Wallace's name happened in there? Y'all <laughs> y'all are up to something dangerous, are you? We could ask you the same. The ghost <laughs> like you doing selling stuff here. Yo, I got fucking cash. Let's go. Hello, uh, Ed. Was that the same tiny ghost that was trying to drink the beverage earlier in the game? Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, and then that's Rook's room. And then. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. Something really. Uh, has really messed with these door rooms. Uh, these shelves are blocking the doorway. Yeah, we could just... Yeah, yeah, three, two, one. Yeah, let's go. It took three people. That's why we couldn't do it before. Ah, makes sense. Ooh, shiny. Oh. Yo, teleport. Let's go. So this is talk... back at Safina's room. Mm-hmm. So shortcut in case you end up coming back to her, which I mean, when we figure out how to deal with the barrier, that'll probably help. Yeah, most likely. Are you okay now? Yeah. That was too close for comfort. I'm lucky you were here. It's not luck. The reason I'm here is to prevent this from happening. Well, you're amazing. I don't know what I'd do without you. That makes two of us. Why am I on this mission anyway? Sneaking, spying, intel gathering. That stuff is more your cup of tea. I had to pull some strings with the coven. I have a feeling something big is happening here. And you know we're the most powerful when we're together. Hee <laughs> hee hee. That we are. Now you coming? We've got a witch to find. Can you stop running ahead, please? <laughs> Never! <laughs> Oh, look, another flower with teeth. <laughs> God, not one of those again. Wait, where's Petronella? Where are they at? Aren't they behind us? Are they? I can't see them. Worried about backs. Something's going nah, on. Don't worry, it was backs. just cutscene magic. Yeah. Lots of slime. Speaking of Petronella, this place is supposed to be her specialty. Oh? Oh, yeah, because she does like potions and shit, right? Oh, they do potions and yeah, shit. Yeah, this right? is her, uh, what's called her track in the school. Gotcha, this is like their jam. Saved. Suspended bubbling goo blocks the way. Oh wait, there's like a... It. Yeah, I wish, I wish to poke the goo. No open flames. Unless you dislike your skin and hair. <laughs> well... I don't know, telling that to teenagers seems a bit reckless. I mean, to be fair... You know, don't don't fuck with fire anyway, but <laughs> Yeah, but to, to say that some teenager might possibly dislike their physical appearance at that age when they're figuring things out. You know what? And, and Good body call. changes. Good call. Alright, huh. 
You know what? I do dislike that I'm growing the zit. Maybe I should light a fire in here. Uh, oh my god. I don't think it's that visceral, is it? Poisoned. The poison itself deals more damage than the attack did. There we go. Step on it again. You won't. <laughs> There we go. And your trap gets to stay safe. So I assume each one of these has a different, uh, like, quote unquote, like, property or spell they use all the time. You may notice that their little symbols match the ones in your stack menu. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why would you do that? What? <laughs> wait a socket to him. Ha uh, uh, uh. Oh wait, those were sockets? Uh, I don't know. The, the enemies, they were called pains, but they looked like electric sockets to me. Yeah, that's true. Especially the HP. blue one. Ten each oh, and just status just like any status effect? Sweet. Ooh, 12 HP and defense up. Let's go. That's piggies. Yo, it's like uh what are those? Uh what are the things from Bubble Bopple? Like those those dragon things with the mouths? Uh you mean the playable characters? Yeah. Bob and Bob? Yeah. It looks like those. Said they grew a tail. Yeah. Tar frog. No, they're stuck. You know what? I'm just gonna light you on fire. Not the double great. Boo. There we go. Wait, why did you get three bounces, but the other one didn't? Because he felt like it. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. Man, and I just laid that trap. And then I'll use this turn to lay one here. Oh, uh, looks like your group's not going anywhere. Which is fine. Basically what I'm doing is containing all of them in one spot. There you go. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's smack you. These gob thingies have so much fucking HP. Get out of here. Might be worth using your power up in a future fight. Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do. Oops. Oh, it worked out. Oops, you're dead. There we go. Nice and clean. Playing the new shell win. Okay. Slimy key. Okay, good on HP. The goo blocks the way. Beginners, potions, and, uh... Hmm. I've gotten quite a few follows recently with, uh... Names that almost sound like bots. And I'm wondering if that's a problem or not. <laughs> Uh, beginner potions and chemistry, Professor Mid Mildberg. There we go. Slimy key. Oh, well, time to fight. Gra. Spells to the ready, gang. Wait, <laughs> Marie, that's not a monster. Hello, students. That. Wait, what? <laughs> Mildberg hey, the sign. I had to clear my throat. You screamed. You were a mo like like a <laughs> demon. Why why did you do the that? The boss music started playing. Yeah, the, the, even at, you heard the soundtrack. What what happened? Hell yeah. The whole place is a mess. Yeah, clearly. Very principal is a mess. <laughs> this is just the idea of alchemy. Half the formulas don't work, and the other half are twice as potent. Well, I wish ours were twice as potent, but, you know. I just need a sharper pocket knife. Yeah, right. Where she is. She should be in her office if you can get there. Thank you for the help. R Wait, question. Where is everybody? So most of the students went home because this is taking place during the summer break. Oh, gotcha. Petronella and Rook are among the students who decided to stay over the break. Gotcha. Three tickles. It's a in goo the thing. Spot. <laughs> right in the sweet spot. Sell me your shit, lady. Or blobby. Ooh, what are these? Ooh. Well, you see, they travel around the world and they film nature documentaries, but one of them can talk to animals. <laughs> and I hear the father got it turned into a big shot spider. Yeah, right. I was about to say they're they're the the dad turned into an MMA fighter. <laughs> Who gets grabbed by starfish from six feet yeah, above he, him? He got so used to dealing with wild animals. He wrestled alligators and uh, bears. And he thought, why not other humans? Oh.
If I put a... No, oh, wait, I can't, right? Yeah, I can't. Okay. Were you thinking of a trap on a spot where someone's already standing? Yeah, it gives me the red X. I didn't notice that before. Of course, if you just want to hit an enemy, you've got your curse, or you've got your stealing soul pierce that also does damage. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with the trap, you can interrupt their turn. Rocket? Where did you summon that from? Perfect. Goodbye. You fool. What have you done? Oh my god, you got so much HP! You know, I'm just realizing Merritt uses fire magic in the place that we're not supposed to light an open fire. Yeah, I've just been kind of doing that and no one's really said anything, so I assume it's fine. There we go. Nice. Well, Nella's healed more. <laughs> Even though it didn't need to, because you were only short 7 HP. But it Exa said 15, so it's better. <laughs> exactly. Oh, they're not going anywhere without setting off a trap now. Exactly. That was the big brain play. Here, I'm gonna... Yeah, you you still got like a... A fucking... Chunk of it, uh, health there. Why are you attacking them? <laughs> you went so far out of your way to hit them with that. <laughs> Someday I'll get the timing of that. <laughs> That's what you say, but I'm, I always found there were certain spells I never quite got. Yo, level up for them. Let's go. Grassy mage. What is that? It's a hat. Oh, it's a hat. Yo, nice. Uh, power up, speed down. Yo, that kind of that kind of checks out for everyone else, though. How's it compared to the blue smoke? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna. Yeah, same thing. One up, one down, but it's for defense. Uh, you know what? They can probably use it because they already have such high defense, so. They had the highest defense, so now it's about the same as everyone else, but also they just deal more damage now. 
Tickle, tickle, tickle. I'm gonna tickle your fencing! <laughs> No! Great. Alright, let's see how things are going here. Everyone's still alive. Yeah, exactly. There you go, you're stuck there. So get fucking trapped. Shitty dragon. That actually kind of helped. Because I wanted to be over here anyway to... Attack you with uh, Mer Marie Merit. I don't know. There's no moving now. There we go. Finally got a great. Oh, you know what? I wonder, yeah. Can I poison this thing? You can poison just about anything. There you go. Quit making that gooey fart noise. It's really <laughs> gross. Yo, 10, let's go. That double digit damage is where it's at. Yeah. And by late game, I'm gonna be dealing thousands, right? Yeah. In this game where you need like 50 experience to level up, absolutely. <laughs> Oh no, I don't want to take a test. I thought it was summer break, darn it. Which is true in the real world and in the game. No cats allowed in the testing zone. Just, well, just one outside. <laughs> the, the, this specific sign is going to be very upset when they look to the... To the left. <laughs> There's a cat right here. Small slot in the base of the bulb. Okay. You got glowing substance. Oh. Hmm. Did I get glowing substance? It just tells me about it. Well, you made it come out of the wall at least. Yeah, true. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that defense guy's gotta fucking go. You know what? Uh, he, may have, he may have defense, but you have the ability to offend. <laughs> Germs. That is the most effective weapon I can imagine. Yeah, right. They are very spread out from each other. 
Yeah, they really are. Not a big fan of that. Excuse me. Get that guy fucking out of there. We don't Take want that. Take your defense, man, and I say new. <laughs> but you gotta erase the first two strokes at the end so it becomes a 10 damage. Alright, and they will do this. Nothing but poison damage, baby. Yeah, let's do this. You know, we haven't made a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference yet. <laughs> that's a, traps. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You've triggered my trap card. There you go. Alright, uh... Hmm. You know what? Actually... Merit in attack mode. Yeah, right. Light it up! Clean. Yo, great level up. Let's go. Is it time for news? No. Uh, not today. Please clean up. The rest of us also have messes to clean. <laughs> oh, now I have somewhere to put the goo. Wait, there's not enough. Oh, okay. Well, it's only half full. There we go. Don't ask Good how I knew about that. Then you use your power of invisible stuff finding. <laughs> There's still not enough, though. Hmm. Oh wait, here it is. Yep. Okay. Ooh, rare gem. There we go. Yeah, that's typically the kind of thing you got to do to find those gems. Really think, what are the paths they don't want me to see? Hmm. Three person power. That, does this mean all the alchemy students have to get into groups of three and follow each other around like this on a regular basis? <laughs> yeah. Glowing vial. You know what? Fuck it. I'll fight you. <laughs> Alright, you convinced me. He looked at me funny. Uh, if I lay down a sigil and then I buff him, uh, does it give that sigil a buff or no? Uh, I'm not sure if it buffs sigils at all. Oh, okay. Well, you've made a very poor decision, and I'm not sure why you made it. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have put that there. 
God, where are you getting these rockets from? Oops. Oops. You must all be extinguished. It's worth getting rid of the trap. It really is. What in tarnation did that guy do to him? Say it was tar that he back at your yeah, feet. It, it, yeah. Oh boy. Um. Yo, let's go. Okay. Get poisoned. Oh, I see. Uh, that creature only gets that, like, follow-up when we're connected to each other. Yeah, but when you asked about it the first time, they both attacked when you were in the same position, so I didn't really know what to say. Gotcha. So I guess sometimes they just won't take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. What do you say? Do not ingest it. It's, it's <laughs> if not for its life-threatening properties, then because the side effects are extremely uncomfortable. Great, love it. Hmm. Consumment alchemy only permitted for use on designated test doors. If you start losing your inv invisible belongings, you only have yourself to blame. Great. Dusties. You are rewarded with shoes. One of the Ooh. shoes in the game that will actually give you movement up. Oh, that's so good. And I can afford to give it to one of them. Ah, oh, but... Because, mm. uh, yeah, I'll give it her, her. No! Put it back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. Now then. So I filled up this other vial. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> I fu I fucked up there. <laughs> that, was, that was my fault. There we go. I'm not a big fan of all these uh, these goopy noises that are being made right now. They make me very uncomfortable. Did you have a bad experience with goop as a kid, Rom? <laughs> no, just uh, just some goopy ass noises, dude. Make sure your rune is drawn correctly. Once it is, you just need to. And there you have it—a beautiful bottle of ceiling salt. Ceiling solvents even necessary, Professor? Why can't we just use mending spells? Mending magic works just fine, you Nabinego. But you're forgetting the very purpose of alchemy. Only witches and wizards can use mending magic. 
How is an ordinary to make it such a fashion? Or an incapacitated magic user? The potions can be used by anyone and are for everyone. Yo, hell yeah. That is the brilliance of alchemy and why it is so important. With that in mind, remember that alchemy can be dangerous. A hastily drawn rune could easily. Oh! Oh no, Gilda! <laughs> You're on the tie, are you all right? What happened? Why is, why are they using like different names for all the, uh, is this the, are, are, are those last their names. last? I yeah, don't that... know why this particular professor is using them, but that's where it comes from. Hmm. Let me see. Why well, yours actually turned out all right. Your runes are fine. Your execution just needs practice. Do you remember to erase your draft circle? Oh, that's where the screw up was. All right, students, back to your room. Play on the tie, and let's try again. Mm -hmm. I'll watch more closely this time and check your form. Aww. And you can stop teasing, Hildegard. Everyone learns differently. Focus on your own assignment. Oh, she finished it last week. I'm actually going through the next chapter right now. Though the recipes are quite outdated, so I'm changing them around a bit. Yo, is is Take Safina it the initiative? Carry on it, then. Is is Safina kind of a dick? Uh like I, I decide based on what you know about her so far. <laughs> because like like no no I'm not saying like oh overachiever like I'm not saying that but like. I don't know. It's just like I the whole like I don't know. Just is the I'm word not, you're looking for insensitive? Yeah, she was a little insensitive about like the the whole like you know made a minor mistake and someone goofed situation. You know. There we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, just one moment. Either she's focusing or very sad on, about something. I think focusing. <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. Why is this happening? Bruh, Petronella, my most diligent student. What a stroke of luck. I was just thinking I could use a few assistants. It's ridiculous. Alchemy itself is turned upside down. Which means it's now called Yilwai. Yilwekla. Yilwekla. Well, the, the M's upside down. That's why I went for the W sound. Half the formula don't work. And the other, and the other half exploding are exploding in my face. In my face. <laughs> oh, poor Nella has the same problem. Well, that means it's not their fault. Exactly. But I am glad you are all here. Now is not the time to be locking things down. What was Ultra thinking? I agree. Rumpf. We've been trying to get to the bottom of things. Mm -hmm. We tried to get into the library, but Gwenora's blocked it off. She won't budge. We were hoping you could help us board her off. Gwenora, that old spirit? Hmm. I might be able to make you a potion to annoy her away. 
Annoy her away. I love that. Of course, I'd need my cauldron to make it. But it wandered off. You know, as they do. Apparently, that's even unusual for a witch in school. Yeah, right. Ah, there it is. Why was it just... Oh, okay. I was, uh, I was like, why... <laughs> why is it just on the ceiling? <laughs> oh, no. It was waiting for us. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you all over here instead. There we go. Blocked you in. And you're powered up. Oh no. To improvise. Hmm. It didn't work. Keep it busy while I tweak the formula. It's, it's a bomb. How do you tweak the formula? Gunpowder? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess, but that's not really like alchemy. That's just a bomb. Uh, you know, when you go to the bomb store, don't you look for the all-organic formula bomb store? No, because I don't go to the bomb store. Because I'm a normal person. Nah, listen, buddy, I'm sure that we've all been to the bomb store in one point. <laughs> you see, you can't even, like, say that without <laughs> laughing. Because you know how dumb it sounds. <laughs> I can't believe you refuse to admit it. I, uh, yay, I'm alive! No, oh I god, I died. <laughs> I like how we birthed that slime and then killed it immediately. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to hit her? You can try it. <laughs> She doesn't have an HP meter. That's true. Uh, yeah, I'll just... Fuck it, whatever. Might as well see what happens. She took a damage, but she didn't say anything about it. Yeah, she didn't really care. <laughs> well, Let's try this again. That's more like it. You did one damage! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's better than zero, damn it. We take these W's. We'll never defeat it at this rate. What do we do? Yeah, I think cast iron was another intended pun because casting spells. <laughs> yeah, probably. Bomb version three. Okay, this isn't <laughs> Let's try a new approach. Oh, hang on a sec. I have to, I have to type something up real quick. Sorry. Uh, give me a sec. Yep. Okay. All right, we're back. We beat the boss. Don't know what happened there. 
That was fucked up. Well, we, just, we didn't say we beat the box. We just threw another bomb at it and <laughs> we're, we decided that one damage was not sufficient. Okay. Going to you see. Difficult spell to draw out the spirit possessing it. Oh no, I need to defeat it while you're working on it. Oh! There it is. Uh, well. Let's keep you, uh, let's keep you in here, bud. Or you could just hop way the fuck over there. <laughs> its name is Knuckles. Knock knock, it's Knuckles. I'm like, Sonic, I don't chuck. Is that the words? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Video games or whatever. Oh, right. This is a boss. You could try soul piercing it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm probably going to do. Oof. That's finger. Give him the finger. Uzi explodes! Uzi well, I don't like that, so... I think you are placing a trap on top of a trap. Now there's a whole row of traps. No one's going anywhere, especially not there. <laughs> Well, did I say no one's going anywhere? I meant the boss is just going to hop over your feeble attempt to ensnare them. Oof. God damn it. <laughs> wow. Well, then again, Merit's the one who can destroy traps. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna... After this, I'm going to uh, use her blaze move and get rid of that. Or just... Oh, well. No, she, she's next. It won't really matter. Ah, damn it. That was something out of Final Fantasy VII right there. That, right? go you got a rare coin yeah i'll take it that's 120 right there
Get over here. I was mostly doing that for the damage, so. Yeah, so that second command failure doesn't matter too much. Yo, 12 damage, let's go. About to say time. Yo, guard, let's go. To get that. Yeah. Oh, I had my eyes open for it. Oh, uh, where's the pot? 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 Oh, it's pot Petronella's head. That whole world is still trapped. It, it really it is. You know what? I don't really want to deal with that guy, so I'm just gonna just gonna make sure I deal damage to him. Oh, Chuckles has lost its sense of humor. Things are serious now. Oh no. Sticky spot. A sticky situation. Oh, well. I mean, that's fine, I guess. They'll stay over there, and you'll stay over here, but the only enemy that really matters. Yeah, exactly. What the? Oh, is it because I already stole the thing? No, I don't think that's the case. I mean, you did already steal the thing. But I don't believe that should affect the word that shows up. Hmm. Get healed! You on the verge of death. Yo, I, 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 I'm nailing that. Let's go. Hey, there we and go. There it is. 30 XP. Let's go. And I got woolly muffs. Let's go. Fantastic job, students. It worked. Here you go. Saltiest? Nice. Give Quinora a one whiff of that, she'll scatter.
I believe in you, kids. You'll get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get things under control here, but after that, I'll be around with supplies to help any injured student. Is that us? Are we injured students? It could be. Sometime. Ooh, formals? Eh. Eh. Ooh, speed goes up. Hey, I'm good. Ooh. Speed down by one, but I deal more damage? Ah, you're uh, already dealing. The same dealing hat that you gave to Nell. Yeah. Ah, I'm already dealing tons of damage, so. Ah, do you have any items that'll sell for three coins? Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. Ah, ah, that's a shame. Yeah! <laughs> oh, wait, you had multiples of those? I didn't notice. Yeah. There we go. Woo! We win. Uh, okay, and then equipment. Okay, so defense and speed up, power down by one. That might be good for you, actually, right? Oh, speed up by two. But you're already so fast. Oh, power down by two for you? Hmm. Eh. I'm good. Let me... Ow! Okay. Eh, hang on. Hello, kitty. Uh, sorry, one thing real quick. Sorry I keep pausing like this, it's important, I swear. <laughs> Time to bring back the elevator music. Oh wait, I can't sing. We established that the last time. So instead, I will do an interpretive dance. Oh wait, I can't be seen. That doesn't matter. Imagine it, if you will. <laughs> I'm doing motions right now, and I'm sure you can infer what I am doing based on the tone of my voice and the rate at which I speak. You're an this absolute ham, and I love it. Dances for you, I am elegantly moving my body. Love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> what a great turn. <laughs> uh, do I get any character abilities that are like... Uh... Like movement speed increases or no? Uh, if I remember correctly, one character gets something that'll help you there. Okay. Hot berry.
Yo, I think. Yes. Look at that positioning. Yes. Okay, hang on. Yes, let's go. Oh, I was even thinking fireball because they were in the T-shirt. Yeah, but Blaze is cooler. I thought it was hotter. <laughs> cooler. <laughs> Doesn't that uh, deal less damage then? No. Someday I'll get the timing for that and I'll be really good at the game. enemies really know how to mix things up. And I can't believe the entire first turn they just spent moving one spare, uh, one space. Uh... Yeah, there we go. crazy that Almost like level eight. <laughs> yeah it's kind of crazy that the uh amount of experience i get from these is uh rather large oh rare gem nice and you're finally away from the goo yeah no more goo Now where am I though? Oh wait, okay. Wait a minute. I know there's something! Found the bathroom. I know there's something in here somewhere. You found the somewhere. There's a note on the wall. For some reason, students have been spending a lot of time in the second stall. Please, re please refrain from monopolizing the toilets as the rest of us have business to do. The second toilet, huh? Aha! I knew it. Y'all can't trick me. I am curious what prompted you to come back to the dorm. Uh, I have to... I have to, like, go to the... The door lady. Oh, she's yes. in the courtyard, though. My bad. I don't know. Let's get out of here. You know, I'll be honest, I forgot you could run. <laughs> it's an option. Hell yeah. 
Now, this seems like a really good time to bring up that in your menu there is, in fact, a map. Oh. Hey. I didn't know about this. Let's go. I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> yeah, all of you, bro. Good job. Good I job, did. bro. Yay, me. So proud of myself for remembering the map all by myself. <laughs> hey, look, it's Jerky Door Lady again. Don't make me get rid of that other eyeball. Stinky losers back again? Yes. Love the new names to call the highest it. form of insult. We'd love to hear them, but we've got some important reading to do. Hmm. What are you playing at? Ah. And that was it. She died. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Good riddance. Hell yeah. It's just a giant floating marshmallow ball. I'm bored. I wish I had giant floating marshmallow balls in my library. <laughs> I wish I had a library. Just having one? That would be nice. Well, I guess that too. Model of the Summerstone designed by student Evelyn Iregard. The stone discovered by members of the coven in 5, uh, 528 is of unknown origin. Well, it was discovered by the coven, so that's the origin. Five meters of diameter, the yeah, stone emits a... Discovering something means that it came from you. Yeah, yep. He who smelt it dealt it. Uh, uh, the priceless... Look, a $20 bill on the ground. I guess that was created by my body. I printed <laughs> it out of my own mouth. I mean, you can't prove you didn't do it. Exactly. <laughs> if anyone would like to prove otherwise, they are free to attempt it. I always love doing that to people, like, <laughs> whenever they're like, no, this is like what you said, and I was like, yeah, prove it, Those like, and they're like, fine, I will, and they'll like send me a picture of it, and I'll be like, I don't know, that could have been photoshopped. <laughs> Alright. There's a lot. This might take a while. You mean the troublemaker actually had a ton of books? Uh, <laughs> What's Merit doing? Yeah, that's weird. So they never knew Safina had a sister, huh? Okay, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, but what if it's some crazy shit like Safina like reincarnated herself and that's what that's what Merit is and she only thinks she's her sister, but the reason why Safina never mentioned it is because there would never was a sister. This is like her reborn or some shit like that. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but that's just like some RPG thing that I can imagine. So, well, whatever then. I guess uh, we let the characters get to reading then. <laughs> bitter rivals. <laughs> oh boy, Connect Sports Rivals, my favorite. Ah, I think I found it. Poor, poor Nella over there on the left, <laughs> just, just completely tuckered out. <laughs> that is a mood. 
I want that as an emote now, just like, <laughs> just big mood, and it's sleeping Nella. <laughs> I know where to find the spell. Okay. Sleepyhead, get up. Uh. Shaky shaky. What did you find? Her borrowing record is, uh, sketchy, as you'd expect, but one thing stands out. She borrowed a book called, a, man, these names, uh, Adel, <laughs> Adelheid's, uh, Jinxes and Wards. It should be on the shelf behind you. For those who aren't here during part one, remember that pronunciations are meaningless, according it, to the game dev. I still want to attempt to at least sound accurate, you know? <laughs> This is a really old book. It's a very big book. It's bigger than the shelf is. Whoa. This dusty old thing stands out like a sore thumb. How have I not noticed it before? Oh, come on. You can't know every single book in here. I wouldn't put it past him. He spends more time in the library than outside of it. it seems Whoa. unhealthy. <laughs> the date on the book. It's marked 833. So it was published 300 years from now? Ridiculous. Maybe it's a mistake? Either that or it completely predates our calendar system. But that'd make this an extremely rare book. Definitely not some of, something to be found in, a, in the common study hall. Well, it's a good thing we're in the library, not the study hall. But when you walked in the library door, it said study hall. Can't prove that. There's a thing called a bond. Hmm. I don't know, Photoshop probably. Uh, maybe it's a prank. It looks legitimate. It's quite the elaborate and specific prank if it is. Just like Azran showing me the VOD. Uh, here, check out this page. <laughs> this looks like the barrier at Safina's door. I think you're right. It's not heart-shaped, but I bet Safina made the, that change herself. I don't understand the symbols, but does it say, does it say how to bust in? Destruction. Every spell can be countered if you know what you're doing. But this involves some alchemy, so it's tricky for me. You're the alchemist, Nell. Any idea? Right here. The homunculus symbol in the rune pattern. Oh god, the astral chain memories are coming back. <laughs> oh no. Homunculus. I think we can break it. Um... Explanation for the ordinary over here? The homunculus is the symbol of the uh is the